Hello everyone, myself Dr. Anantar Gupta, currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology from Ames Delhi. In this video, I wanted to talk about this book, that is First Aid. I know all of you already know about it, how it's a really good book as far as revision strategy for your first and second prof, for your NEET PG or INICET is considered. But in this video, I wanted to resolve all the doubts that are related as far as usage of First Aid is concerned. And uh, I know that I've already talked about how it's helpful, how to annotate first aid, but I'll now begin with other doubts and I will uh, essentially cover it all in this one video. So the doubts essentially can be grouped into the first uh, uh, three pretty broad categories. The first doubt that most people tend to have is, do we need to use this book? That is your USMD first aid for the step two CK and the USMD for the step three. The answer to this question is no. First aid for the step one is a standard, you know, revision book as far as your uh, uh, your MLE is considered or any other entrance examination. In fact, this is also used for your MRCP, MRCS at times as far as revision of first and second prof is considered. So this book for the first and second prof, your assembly first aid step one, this is the only book that you need to have. As far as the revision strategy for the third and sec final prof is concerned, I've made a video regarding that. You can check that out. But at the same point of time, this is the only book that you need. You do not need to buy step two CK. You do not need to buy step two, uh, step three, USMB for the step three, uh, first aid for the USMB step three. The second now that people tend to have is, should we buy this edition, you know, the international students edition, should we buy the Indian edition or should we buy the, uh, you know, the the actual edition. So uh, let me be very clear, all these edition as far as the content is considered are exactly the same. There's no difference as far as what's written inside is considered. They're absolutely the same. It's just that the Indian edition as compared to the, uh, you know, the international edition or the uh, US editions. It has a slightly cheaper paper quality and it is that's why it's cheaper that's about it the content is the same in order to bring it at a lower price for the indian students they made it a slightly cheaper paper quality and uh, rest the content is exactly the same so you, if you are someone who's short on money and do not mind a slightly lower paper quality you can move, go for the indian edition other thing that people keep on asking me ki whether they should buy a 2017 or 2018 edition because it's available at a lower cost or they should go for a 2021 or 2022 edition so I found that the 2022 edition on Amazon is around 4,000 rupees, while the 2021 edition has drastically reduced price at 1,600 or 1,800 rupees. <coughs> I'm sorry. In this particular regard, I say that 2021 edition works fine. You do not need the latest edition of first aid, but you do need a uh, rather recent edition. So when I gave my exam in May 2018, I used a 2016 edition, which worked fine for me. Similarly, if you're going to give 2023, a 2021 or 2022 edition will work fine, but do not go for a 2016 or 2017 or 2018 edition. I'll tell you why. For example, my book, this time there was a question asked on TCSK9 inhibitors as far as anti-hyperlipidemic drugs was concerned. Now, this is not given in my first aid, but this is a recent edition. These drugs have recently come up and they were tested not just in US MLE and now have been tested as far as your need peach entrance examination is also considered. But it was given in 2020 and later edition. So a later edition will have newer drugs that have been asked repeatedly. Similarly, uh, we all know that uh, your uh, pembrolizumab, nivolumumab, these are uh, uh, programmed death uh, ligand inhibitors, you know, this, uh, uh, they have been asked recently a lot more. Why? Because in 2018, Nobel Prize was given and since then, uh, everybody wants to ask questions regarding these inhibitors, these drugs. So these newer drugs will be given in 2020 or later edition. So 2021 edition for someone right new, if you are not willing to spend 4000 rupees plus on a 2022, the most recent edition, I'll say you can go for the 2021 edition. The other thing I want to tell you is that if you're someone, all these books are available for free online. You can just go to Libchin and download these books to get a feel of the book in the first place. If you feel that maybe what I'm saying is wrong, it can be. It's fully possible that you're someone who does not believe in the philosophy of first aid. This is my advice. This is an advice of Richard. This is an advice of, let's say, most of the AIMS uh, undergraduates. That's how they prepare. That's how they get to a revision standard. You can use other books as well. Uh, if you feel this is a good book, I believe this is a really, really good book. You can download the free book, the free ebook from Libgen, get a feel of it and then order it online. That's also perfectly fine. The other doubt people keep on asking me, can I use it in first year or can I use it in my third year or can I, uh, when is the appropriate time to start using first aid? So I believe I started using it during my internship. Like I told you, I used a review book. Uh, for example, I was doing pharmacology. So if let's say I was doing pharmacology, I would uh, read up a chapter from uh, Gobind Rai Garg. Then I would see the previous year questions that are given in this review book, add the extra points into my first aid. Okay, uh, these are the images that you can see uh, of how I am annotated my pharmacology section. But uh, ha having said that, 
uh that was as far as internship is concerned in my opinion the best time to use first it is an intern and a post intern which are not revising for the exam and first it makes the revision extremely easier can a first and a second third year student use it i think a first and second year student should not use it that's my opinion i believe you should rather focus right now on uh, standard textbooks uh, and uh, try to make your own notes from it a third and a fourth year student can come to first year the reason i'm saying a first and second year student should not use first year is one because the exam is five years away so the first year that you will be using right now might be a bit outdated like i told you newer drugs keep on getting discovered newer drugs keep on getting added and they might be added to the later edition of first year and your first year might be lacking on certain content first year gets updated every year so it's a uh, but a fourth year student let's assume or a third year student yes they can consider because next is in the planning they can consider using first year so when they are now starting to revise their final prof and they you know towards the end of the third year towards the beginning of the fourth year if they are revising the first and second prof uh, yes they can consider the first year and then they can add annotate their first year with the previous year question the last but definitely not the least everyone keeps on asking where do we i get the previous year question form and i think that is the biggest disadvantage of any app doesn't matter maru doesn't matter the planet doesn't matter bhatia doesn't matter dams uh, so during my time when i gave my exam back in 2012 we used to have the something called as review books i think the trend of the review books has totally gone by because everyone now uses an app and has its set of notes and think that if they do the app the videos and they do the notes they will clear the exam which is totally rubbish they are just a resource you need the resource to be able to revise in this particular regards review books were actually good you had a review book for pretty much every subject so this is the grg for the pharmacology uh, you had like i used uh, apurva shastri as far as my micro was concerned i used saurav jindal i used uh, you know uh, other good review books uh, apur mera review book is nice i uh, among uh, dr deepak marwal's review book is nice as far as medicine is concerned now the point of these review books was not what is written inside them it already made notes these review books are just notes So you're getting notes from, let's say, Preplada, or you're getting notes from Maro. These review books were also notes. They made these were good, trusted author who already made notes for you in the form of these review books. But the better part of the review book was they all had previous year questions in them. They already had previous year questions in them up to the uh, the review book that is it's available also. If I bought the review book in 2017 till 2017, all the recent questions uh, that have been asked were there in the review books. which is the most important thing that is lacking from your maru notes or any other set of notes for that matter of fact so the notes by themselves are maybe good won't deny that uh, might be uh, if you can funnel them down and make your own notes like uh, akansha said in this interview uh, you uh, you can actually uh, use these notes in a very good manner and uh, these apps become an excellent resource but the problem is the previous year question parts If you do not do the previous year question, you won't know what's important, and you won't know what's not important. And this review books in this particular regard did a very important job as far as giving you all the previous year question as far as that particular subject is concerned. I'll make a separate video in which all the review books that I use, I use multiple review books. I tend to use a lot of different books, but now I can definitely tell you which are the better review books. I'll make a separate video regarding all the review books for all the nineteen subjects. That will be a separate video. So hopefully I have uh, cleared all your doubts regarding first year. The first doubt: Can I use a previous edition? Yes, you can. Go for a 2020 or 2021 edition if you do not want to spend on a 2022 edition if it's costly. Uh, should I use first two step two CK? No, you should not. Uh, or step three? No, you should not. What's the ideal time to start? I think a third and fourth year you can start, but the best ideal time in my opinion will be internship. Not uh, before that, uh, and last but definitely not the least, where do I get previous year question forms? The answer is review books. If you want stuff, subject wise previous year questions, topic wise previous year questions, which is lacking from the notes of major apps. At the same point of time, uh, a lot of you ask about my my annotated first year. Uh, so I have annotated just a part. Of, I have not annotated the entire first year. I have annotated a part of first year. Uh, that is biochemistry. I would want every one of you to annotate your first year in your own way. The first year should be your own, not mine, not copying me. But I understand that a lot of you might need a you know a look through key how I annotated so they can you know make that as a guide on R two. So I'm just giving you biochemistry as of now, biochemistry and the initial part of first aid to just get a feel on how to annotate first aid. And I'm giving it for a very you know uh, just twenty rupees. Like, I don't want want to get, frankly. I I never think give anything for free. That has been always been my philosophy because people do not value free things. Uh, so I'm giving it for like you know I really don't want to make money out of this. But if you you're someone who will say, "I'm going to pay for the first aid ticket," I'll upload that as well and I'll charge money for that. <laughs> I don't mind that. But uh, if you just want to have an idea and see how to annotate first aid and everything, this is the first aid. I'll be giving the link below. So thank you and have a nice day.